Hey guys, welcome back in the kitchen with me. Today we're going to be making a chocolate brownie bunt cake. Come on, let's get this process started. So we're going to start off with one box of Devil's Food Cake by Duncan Hines. One box of brownie mix. I got the Eddie Crocker with the walnuts in there, but you can use any flavor of brownie mix that you want. Add four eggs. Oil. Milk, whole milk. And mayonnaise. And we're going to mix this up. So don't forget to scrape your sides. And if you love chocolate for the chocolate lovers, this is so good. One of my husband's favorite cake. I've probably made it about 15 times and I had to give it a break. But it's so good with a scoop of vanilla ice cream or butter pecan ice cream. So good. So now I have some chocolate chips. And of course, I've shared with you guys before, if you want to add chocolate chips into any cake, just dust them with some flour. It'll help keep them throughout the cake and they won't just sink to the bottom. So I'm going to add my chocolate chips in there and then I'm just going to fold those in the cake batter. And this is your preference, like how many nuts or chocolate chips you like. You can add whatever you like. Okay, so now that this is all mixed up, I'm going to pour it into my butt pan. And I have my butt pan already oiled and everything. So we're just going to pour the cake batter in here. Okay, and I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to bake it for 50 to 55 minutes. Um, kind of around at the 45 minute mark, you want to check it and make sure that it's um, not done. And if it is done, you can take it out because everybody oven cooks different. And so that's in at 350. So I'm going to set it for 55 minutes, my timer. Okay, and we'll be back. Okay, guys, welcome back in the kitchen. So I let the cake bake for, it was a total of 53 minutes. So as I said, just check it at that 45 minute mark and just um, check it and see if it's done because everybody oven cooks different. So this is the results, it came out perfect. And so now I have my Grenache that I'm gonna put on top. So for the Grenache, this was 3 fourth cup of heavy whipping cream and two cups of uh, chocolate chips. And so what you wanna do is just, um, get the heavy whipping cream to a boiling point and then just pour it on top of the chocolate chips and cover and let it sit for about five minutes and then give it a good mixing and it will melt and this is what you will come up with. Okay, so now that the cake is cooled off, we're gonna pour the Grenache on top of the cake. And this is so good. Milk chocolate, heavy whipping cream. And so we're just gonna pour it on top. And like I said, if you're not a chocolate lover, but you do like chocolate, I'd highly recommend just eating it with a, a scoop of ice cream will help balance off some of that chocolate. All right, y'all, I'm about to get a slice of it. Cut through. It's still hot. 
it's been cooling for about 15 minutes but you know pound cakes take a little bit longer to cool so you can see the nuts got the chocolate chips in there and I'll tell you too about this recipe so if you like the corners of the brownie that's crunchy that's what the brownie do to this cake is you have the crunch all the way on the outside I'm not just saying this because I made this but y'all I've done it again so I'm telling you give this recipe a try it's easy it's simple it's all so delicious and don't forget to like and subscribe okay bye